Hey, our friends, today we're gonna be drawing a crocodile. A realistic one! Yeah! Yeah! All right, checkers, you got your marker? Yeah! <laughs> You're excited. <laughs> we hope you guys are excited too. Maybe not as much, but still excited. Yeah. <laughs> you have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. We're gonna use a Sharpie. You don't have to, you can use a pencil if you want to. If we go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. We are gonna be drawing this realistic, so it's gonna be a little more challenging. And if you're looking for an easier lesson that's also a crocodile, we'll leave a link below in this description. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. We, we made it out of shapes. And we did it with Austin. Yeah. Where are you laughing? Nothing. <laughs> you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, dude, we're going to start with our paper. Horizontal. Yes, or landscape. Yes, I feel like <laughs> We're going to start with this head. It's going to be down here in the bottom left corner. And not all the way in the corner, but right about here. We're going to start with his eye. And we're just going to draw a football shape. Eve Dookie. Scary eye. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do his eyebrow that's over the top. Good. Now we're going to draw his other eyebrow that's on the other side of his head. So we can draw a 3D. Nice. Now we're going to draw his, his nose that comes out. And we're going to draw one little bump for his nostril. Nostril? <laughs> and then it's going to curl back around like this. And we're going to go, we're going to keep going all the way under his face and then curl up. Sorry, <laughs> hanging on to your paper. <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's come back up here and let's put another bump right here for his nostril. Nice. And then we can put, let's curl it back around and actually put in his nostril. Okay, now let's draw his mouth. And his mouth is super awesome because you can see his teeth sticking out. So we're going to just draw a little line for the start of his mouth. Oh, I was a little tiny. <laughs> it's going to be bigger. Just you wait. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to draw uh, an M like that. Good. And then we're going to curl around and connect the bottom. And so that's, that's his teeth. Then we're going to draw another little line that comes out further. Then we're going to draw a V. So this is the tooth pointing down and they kind of alternate so we can curl it, connect the top, draw another line, just short one. And then we're going to draw an upside down V for the, for another tooth going the other direction and then connect at the bottom. Isn't that looking awesome? Yeah. Okay. And then we can do a V right next to that one and then connect it. Then I'm going to just keep going and we're going to do that same pattern. And you could just make them random all the way back until we get a little further, closer to his eye. I did a W. I'm going to do upside down V. Good. Awesome. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to curl up and then back down to finish his mouth. Sweet. Good job, man. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. He looks pretty scary. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's draw his body. So we're going to first draw, we're going to draw a circle that comes around and connects. So we're going to draw some contour lines that make his body look 3D. And this is going to be the first one. So we're going to come around, curl around like this, and then back into his head. So that's going to be his neck. <laughs> Good. All right, now let's put a couple um, upside down V's, and this is going to be for the texture because they have these like bumps through their whole body. So I'm going to do four little bumps. What are those? What's that dinosaur that kind of that has that? All those spikes on them. 
It has that thing that kind of with its head and it has the that. Oh yeah, a triceratops. Yeah. That has the yeah, whatever that's called. <laughs> Okay, now let's put some more texture in there. We're going to put another contour line right here, another wrinkle in his lizard skin, and then some other spikes. Okay, now let's put one, uh, like a hook shape or a, another wrinkle right here, and this is going to be the start of his arm, his front leg. Okay, now let's draw a... The first part of his leg, his front leg, so we're going to do a little S line that goes up and then we're going to draw another line that comes down and that's for his front, his forearm. Then we're going to come back up here and we're going to draw the rest of this arm. Sweet! Okay, now let's draw his thumb. So we're going to draw, cover with a sharp claw. There we go. And then we're going to draw his first finger. Good. Now let's draw three more of those claws. So one, two, and then the third one is going to connect into his arm. That's a pretty big hand. <laughs> if I were to draw it again, it might be a little smaller. <laughs> You can palm a basketball with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, now let's come over here and let's draw his other front, his other front leg. So we're gonna draw a line that curves up. And then back down. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. This line is this is gonna be his elbow. And then back down. Oh man. He's looking cool. Okay, we're going to do the same steps, but over here and flipped. So there's his thumb. Then we're going to draw his first finger. And then three more, three more claws. So one, two, three, and then back in. <laughs> Good job, dude. Hands. <laughs> yeah, mine look like big, huge, massive claws. So and yours kind of look like hum human hands. Human hands. <laughs> It's okay. You, we can make those little the little ends sharper if you wanted to. But let's keep going. All right. So we're gonna do another wrinkle that's gonna go over. So his little lizard skin, bumpy. It's coming over like this, and then we're gonna connect it. We're gonna draw another line, leave a little gap, and connect it into his arm. What? Oh. So we drew a big kind of rainbow line that goes over his body, and then I left a gap, and then drew another line that connected. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go all the. We're gonna draw the rest of his body, and this is gonna turn into his tail. So we're gonna draw a big line that comes out like this, and we're gonna stop right here. There you go. Good job. And then we're gonna draw his belly line that's over here on this side. This is gonna make him look kind of big. Like that. But it doesn't have to. Probably don't want to make it too big. All right. Okay. And then we're gonna draw his back leg right here next connected to his belly line good there you go good job okay now let's draw his foot so we're going to draw this first his first toe so it's going to come out and then make a v for that claw and then we're going to draw uh three more claws so you can't really see this other this fifth finger and then one more. No. <laughs> You're doing good. Keep going, man. <laughs> it's a big foot. <laughs> I like big it. Foot. It's big big foot. foot. One's pretty big too. So we're gonna now we're gonna take this from his toe. I'm gonna curl around and into his knee. Good. And then we're gonna come back over here. Curl around for the back of his leg. Awesome. Good job, dude. Okay, now we need to do, it. let's work on his tail some more. So I'm going to make a zigzag line from here. And we're going to curl up like this. And then stop right there. What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at that. His foot? It's like this, it looks like... 
Scissors. <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> okay, so I just started doing a zigzag that curled up. Good. Right there, and then start curling up. And then stop. Good job. That looks awesome. Okay, now we're going to do... Much. No, it's good. Okay, now we're going to start right here, and we're going to do another kind of zigzag line. goes like this. And we're going to come around and then connect it into that one. So it curls around, connects. Good. Okay, now we're going to keep that zigzag line going back this way. Good. Now we're going to draw the bottom of his tail. So it's going to come down like this and then curl in. Nice. That looks really good. Now we're going to draw the back, the bottom of this part of his tail. So we're going to come out over here. So his belly comes through his leg and then it's going to come out like this and then curl up into the tail. So start down here. Yeah, start down where his leg is. You're going to come out to here and then up to his tail. Oh, that's a nice thick tail. I like it. Oh. No, it's awesome. It's really cool. Yours looks awesome. I wish my tail was that thick. Okay. Uh, maybe. No, I really do. Okay, so now we're going to, let's draw one more line. So we're going to do some more details on this tail. So we're going to draw another line that curls around. Next to the zigzag, good. And now let's put some texture on his tail. So I'm gonna do it with an S line. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these that come down his tail. Yeah. Good job, now I'm gonna do a couple on this side too. So I'm gonna curl them the other way. Good. Okay, now let's draw some more texture that's going across his body. So we're going to draw these contour lines that come around over like this and connect. And then let's draw a couple others that don't completely connect. Okay, and then I'm going to come back over here and imagine those same lines coming through over to this side. And then this one, I'm gonna draw another one that goes across like that. So they have a lot of, their skin looks really wrinkly and old. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple more, and then I'm gonna do a couple that go down his tail like that. Good. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to take these spikes that are coming down the tail and we're going to make uh, more spikes that come across his body. This, we can just draw the individual spikes that come around and then they're going to curve into his neck like that. Good, now we're gonna draw some more spikes. We're gonna start up here on his tail and draw, and I'm just kinda doing little triangle shapes. And then these are gonna go across his back too, and then into his neck. And then I'm gonna do another one right next to that one. Okay, now let's come back in. Let's add the details on his toes. So add the little claws. I'm just going to draw some curved lines for the claws that are coming out of his fingers. Okay, let's add some more texture. I'm going to add 
some cross lines that go across his belly here. And I'm gonna just connect, it's almost like you're making a spider web going across and then making more texture. And then I'm gonna do um, some down his tail also. Okay, let's add some more texture on his legs. So I'm gonna add some more wrinkles going down his arms like this. And even down his forearms, draw some more lines this way. And then draw the cross lines so it kind of looks like a spider web. That, isn't that looking awesome? Yeah. Let me look at the <laughs> other picture. There Sorry. Oh, you <laughs> haven't done it, Mike. <laughs> haven't done it yet. <laughs> And then, um, so yeah, there we go. And then we're adding all the texture and we can do the same thing on this leg. So I'm gonna add some more lines that go across his, his whole leg and then back up. That, and that totally looks like an alligator, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Okay, now we're gonna add his pupil and they just have like really, uh, almost like a snake eye. And then we can add, we can add some more bumps in here on his nose, more texture. Now it's really starting to look like an alligator, huh? Yeah. Good job, checkers. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, now. We're gonna, he's gonna look even more realistic after we color him. So let's pick okay. out our colors and we're gonna use colored pencils mm -hmm. and we'll come right back. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna use a dark green, a light green, a yellow, and a black. And we're first gonna start with the light green. And we're gonna do a light uh, layer over the whole body. Okay. okay. Let's fast forward right, right now. now. All right, dude. Okay, now we're gonna get our dark green and we're gonna start adding the texture to our crocodile. So okay. they have a uh, dark, it's almost like camouflage. You know what camouflage is? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna draw like um, little spots of dark through his whole body. And we don't wanna cover the whole thing, just little spots. And kind of even, we can even kind of checkerboard uh, the texture on the side of his body. All right, checkers, you keep going. I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do on the head. Okay. So over here, we're gonna add some shading and I'm gonna add a shadow that goes under his eyelid, right here, or his, his eyebrow. So it makes him look even madder. And then the top of his head, we're gonna do really dark also. And we can just do little short strokes that go over the top of his head. And then it's gonna come down and get lighter on the side where it gets close to his mouth. Okay, and then I also colored in his claws. Okay. Good job. Now we're going to take our yellow and we're going to add yellow to the bottom of his body. So the underside of their body is kind of this tan yellow. It's a lot lighter color than the rest of their body. So we're going to add that. And then we're also going to add it kind of around his mouth. Okay, the last part with the yellow is we're gonna color his eye, and then we're gonna get our black. And I'm gonna go back over his pupil so it's dark. And then we're gonna use the black to add some more shading so that he looks even more 3D. So we're gonna go along all these little wrinkles that we drew in here and add some black um, shading so it looks even scarier. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Freaky! Okay, and then the last step is we took our light green and we went back over it. And you're kind of still doing that, right? Yeah. And smooths out some of that texture so it doesn't look as rough. 
Checkers, man, good job. You did awesome. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Give me five. You did awesome. I love how realistic he looks, especially all these spikes that you added after. It looks awesome. He looks really cool. And we could spend even more time shading him and adding some other colors like brown to make him even look more realistic. But you know what else we need to do? What? And what our friends should do is add a background to this. Yeah. Shouldn't just leave him on a white piece of paper. We need to draw like the water around him and maybe yeah. even some sand that he's sitting in. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your crocodiles with us. Remember, it's not important that your crocodiles look exactly like ours. Yeah! Have you ever seen two crocodiles in nature look exactly the same? Yeah, no. No. No, <laughs> no it doesn't exist. And so no two drawings should look exactly the same either. <laughs> yeah, we hope that you had a lot of fun because that's the most important thing, right? Yeah. Yes. We'll see you later, our friends. Bye, Goodbye. Our friends.